near me, near me. Oh. Okay. No. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Um, so it's currently, what time is it? 6.26 p.m. I am making cookies and you're gonna do it with me. We're gonna have a fun little time. Also, peek, peek the new permanent drip. That's, that's crazy. I just got home from a trip. Um, it was like a long weekend trip to visit my sister and one of my good friends um, at their college. And um, yeah, we're gonna make some cookies because I want cookies. Is there is there any other excuse for it? I just, I want cookies, okay? So let's get the goods, the food, not the food, the ingredients. That's the word, that's the word I'm looking for. That winner, winner, chicken dinner. Speaking of chickens, look at this. I got this little fella at an antique store like a couple of years ago, okay? And I saw him and I was like, oh my God, I gotta get this little chicken for our kitchen. And I got him and I named him KSC and he's been at our house ever since. What a little, what a little fella. <laughs> he's so cute, but uh, yeah, he just sits in our chicken. I mean, <laughs> he sits in our kitchen and he gives us good luck and good blessings to our food and our cooking abilities, so. Thanks, KFC. Oh my god, this is so perfect. I have a stick of butter already out here that I can just steal. It was probably for someone else, but that's okay. Okay, here we go. Butter, check. Peanut butter. Let me grab her. Okay, got baking soda, peanut butter, chocolate chips, butter, flour, sugar, brown sugar. Don't drop the flour, don't drop the flour. Bam, bam, bam. Something Shazam or whatever. We're rocking and rolling. We're rocking and rolling. Okay, so we need vanilla, an egg, salt, and I think that's all left. Bam! All right, you want to see our little our little setup over here? And then the recipe. <laughs> okay, so obviously I'm going to obviously I'm going to send you the recipe in the description so you can make your own or you can make it with me. How fun is that? It's like a fun little interactive cooking show like Dora the Explorer, but with Gordon Ramsay. Okay. <laughs> Do it. Don't use this. Don't use this when you're whisking your little batter, okay? You don't use this whisk. You use the one that's longer. Let me find it. Is it dirty? Who used it? Oh. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna have to use this one. Um, normally, I would use the one that's completely like a little... You know? Anyways, it's fine. This is gonna work. So, it's all good. We just need something that's not a whisk because you don't want to be whisking. What is going on with my hair? Oh! Stay. Okay, perfect. Fantastic. The light in here is atrocious. What's happening? Is this someone light up here? Okay, I'm all over the place. We have better lighting now and it's all good. It's all fine. Fine and dandy. Mix. Butter with peanut butter. How much peanut butter do we need? I know we need a whole stick. Yeah, that's a lot of butter. A lot, a lot of butter. But like, it's so good that you don't really think about it. You know? Okay, one half a cup. All right. So we need to It'd be helpful if I uncoil the cord so that way I'm not having the, you know, hand beat it. Fun little story, I did have to hand beat this one time and it was not fun. So I guess not a fun story, or just a boring fact, I don't know, I just, I like talking, I like the sound of my own voice, okay? All right, what YouTuber doesn't? Sorry, that was a bad joke. Okay, um, wow, that butter is really sticking to the, it's really sticking to the paper and not the stick. Look at that. Ew. It's all better. Also, if you are the type of person who likes using the big spoons like this while you eat, what is wrong with you? It's a mental illness, isn't it? Okay, that's probably enough butter. We could probably lay off on the butter, to be honest. So that's probably a good thing. Okay. Oh, last time I 
I forgot to preheat my oven. And we are not forgetting to do that this time. So what do I have to, 350. We're gonna dual wield the ovens because we have two ovens now. Oh my God, that's so exciting. I don't know why I'm excited about that. I don't cook like ever. Anyways, get ourselves some PB, Jif or Jeff, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how to pronounce this type of peanut butter. People get so over, over aggressive about the pronunciation of some words. I'm like, wow, calm down. I only say that because I'm wrong, of course. But when I'm in the right, then I'm the one who's like over aggressive with it. Anyways, gotta get yourself a hefty amount of PB, okay? And you're gonna plop that bad boy in there. Like so. Oh yeah. I was gonna use a spatula, but there's no small spatula, so I guess we're just using our thingy. Sorry to all the drama folks. I was trying to be, you know, nice, but fate told me otherwise. Alright. Now I gotta mix these bad boys. Gotta scramble them up like you're scrambling eggs. You know what I mean? You get the joke, it's a funny joke. Okay, anyways. Now we're cooking. Yeah. It's gonna get mixed more the more stuff we put in there, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Right? Those are the rules. Those are the cooking rules. Add brown sugar and granulated sugar until creamy. Aye, aye, Captain, you got it. How much sugar we talking? One fourth and two thirds. Easy peasy, boss. I got you. Two thirds. Easy. Where's the one fourth? Do we really not have the one fourth cup? I know we have one. That's one more. Okay, well, we can just do. Um, I'm not good at math. <laughs> this is not good. That's three fourths. We can just do like a little bit of one fourth. I mean, three fourths, right? Right? That's fine. If we just do like a little bit of three fourths, it's a fourth, so you just kind of like kind of eyeball it. It'll be fine. It'll turn out a okay. Step two. We gotta open the. We gotta open the chute. Which one was which? Uh, we got granulated sugar one fourth. Got it. That's the normal sugar. All right, we're gonna have to kind of eyeball this because we don't have the one fourth cup. So, that's probably like the right amount. Right, you know. You know, I feel like I make these enough that I can remember and imagine what a one-fourth looks like. So, like, it's fine. And then we gotta get two-thirds of brown sugar. Now, this does not look like two-thirds, but we'll give it a whirl and we'll see what we're working with. Brown sugar is so weird because it feels like kinetic sand. Like, I just, I want to play with it. I don't want to cook with it. I want to... I'm gonna like make a little sand castle out of it. Plop that bad boy, pop that kinetic sand in there, and then you're good to go. <sighs> Water break. All right, let's mix these bad boys until they're nice and creamy. So we're having some technical difficulties because of a certain, the thing that I'm using to stir it with. I think I'd be better off just mixing it myself. <laughs> Oh. All right, let's show you what we're working with, okay? There we go. This is what we're looking like right now. She looks a little, a little not great. A little gross. I'll admit it. I think we got peanut butter on my phone, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, what's next step? Next step. Next step. Second step, boss. Beat in a vanilla, egg, baking soda, and salt. Teaspoon, not tablespoon. Do not get those mixed up. That would be a nightmare. Baking soda. Salt. In there, bada bing, bada boom. Mr. Worldwide in the room. I'm a hustle, baby. What you gonna do? Cap full of banana for you, sir. Aww. 
the egg. Okay, and now we're just gonna beat that battle, all that stuff, all the all that, all that, in that, win that, in that, when you, win that, in that, in that, when you. Yep. We're doing the rest of this by hand, okay? So because this that thing was just not mixing well, and I don't know where the other mixer is, and I'm not using the whisk. I'm not supposed to use the whisk for the cookie batter. So we're just. I could use a good arm workout anyway, so it's fine. It's fine. Just gotta really beat it. You gotta really churn it like you're a woman back in the 1600s. All right. Really get in there. I gotta get elbow deep. Elbow deep, my friends. <sighs> now we're gonna need one cup. Actually, I think it's multiple cups of flour. One and one fourth. I was, I was sure darn close. <clears throat> I'm so strong, guys. One cup. And you gotta mix it periodically. You hear me? Okay. None of this, like, dumping in there. No, no, no. You gotta be gentle with it. You gotta be gentle with it like a little newborn babe. And then, as it starts to form a dough, you're gonna add in your chocolate chips. Okay? So we just gotta... Mixy, mixy. Before your eyes, it'll turn into a dough. Isn't life a miracle? It's crazy. And before you ask, what are you talking about, Corvid? You're not birthing something. I am birthing. I'm birthing a homemade batch from scratch. Delicious peanut butter chocolate chip cookies straight out of the oven. Mm -mm -mm. They are gonna be so delicious and yummy and they're nice and soft and they're so good. It's amazing. You'll see. You'll see. You'll understand. One day, one day, you'll understand. And then when you do, you'll be like, wow, Corbin, you were so right. You were so right about this. I understand now. I appreciate it now. And I'll be like, yeah, I told you. And it's going to be just a grand old time. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to have... We're gonna have such a, we're gonna have a newborn babe in our hands and we're gonna roll it around and we're just gonna strap it on there and it's gonna go in the oven like a baby would, you know, the baby in the oven, bun in the oven, whatever. It's life. It is a metaphor for life at its finest. Baking, that's all it is. It's just a metaphor for new life because you're, you're taking an egg which has a little baby chick in it and you're putting it in something and then it becomes something new comes alive and it's great it's fantastic it's just it's wonderful it's absolutely wonderful sure it's becoming a dough so now we're gonna add in chalky chippies everyone's favorite you know or you can put in whatever you want do what you want i don't care but i'm putting in some chalky freaking chippies the dark chocolate time too one of this milk chocolate garbage. Milk chocolate garbo. No siri. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. If you like milk chocolate, you are weak. Okay, you are you are at the bottom of the food chain. Alright, you you're a weakling. Milk chocolate. Just eat dark chocolate like everyone else does. She's, she's developing, she's getting there, developing like a Polaroid. So my dough's not forming, all right? So I'm going rogue. I'm gonna add a bit more flour. Sometimes you just have to eyeball. Sometimes the dough works out perfectly with the one cup and one fourth. And sometimes, sometimes you gotta improvise. Just like real life, you know? You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta be like, ah! I mean, I'm, ah! On the spot, on the spot Broadway, baby. Can you tell that I was a theater kid in high school? <laughs> All right, let's clean up everything and I'll come back with the cookie sheets, okay? Okay. POV, you're Michael from FNAF. Sorry, that was really dark. Who else is excited for the FNAF movie? I am. I'm so excited, it's gonna be so hype. I'm so, 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 so excited. Let's get up close and personal for this part, okay? Okay. So now you're just gonna kind of squish them around and when you think that you got a good little chunk, 
You're not. You're not. Plop that bad boy in your hand. Roll her up. And then slap her down. But uh, yeah, you just do this over and over. So you'll probably see like a cute little time lapse. I don't know, maybe I'm feeling funky fresh. I'm feeling like a cute little vlogger. And I'll do a cute little time lapse. But maybe not. Maybe you'll just see me cut to the next part. <laughs> Uh, Cause maybe in future me will be like, that's a really dumb idea. What were you thinking? And you know what? Future me probably has a point. That's probably a really dumb idea. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Do you guys ever have like uh, those little paranoid thoughts? You know what I'm talking about? Like thinking that someone's like outside your window or like they're someone's gonna someone that you love and know is gonna kill you in your sleep one night no that's just me okay well an uneven amount of cookies but who's counting and some extra dough good dog good dog very good oh it's so peanut buttery. Okay, so now we're gonna pop these bad boys in the oven for around 13-ish minutes, maybe 15. I don't know. So let's pop them in the oven. I'll see you when I see them when they're nice and done. Crummy, yum, yum. Mumble, baby. Ba, 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 ba. POV, you're in Skyrim. Some mighty fine cookies. Let's get them out. Batch numero uno. Oh, don't burn myself. Don't burn myself. These look heavenly. Alright. Beep. Batch numero dos. Dulce. Are you done? Okay. We're gonna let these bad boys cool a little bit and then we're gonna get a nice cold glass of milk. Oh, I'm so excited. First bite. So good. So worth it. They're worth the time and the effort. Wow. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, be sure to subscribe, like the video. You know, you don't need me to tell you to do that because every other YouTuber does that. You get the drill. You got it. And if you made it this far, congrats. You're a part of our super secret club now. Join my Discord. Subscribe. Like the video. Comment. Do all that. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh my. This is falling apart. Until then, bye bye Hmm. Oh, good.